The third pillar of efficiency that we're going to be working on is the legislation on standards and on protocols. Because you can't be delivering, if in the delivery system, you can't have a delivery system where people, it's just up to the individuals, up to their own training, personal training and personal experiences, to, to say what, how the things are done. If we have to be able to predict and to control our costs, we have to have a system where when certain problems arise, people that are helping us to solve the problems know what we expect them to do. And it will have to be legislated. Now, all of us, all of us, if, if it has ever happened, or if we are friends who have had the experience, are very comfortable when we know somebody gets, goes for care in, in the USA or in Canada or in the UK. They, they go for care there. But you know the reason why we're comfortable is because we know there are standards that those systems operate by. In this region, we have never operated with a set of legislated standards. But with the NHI, that's going to be essential. Because the NHI is not going to pay for care that is not of the quality that is expected. The information we'll keep getting on what is happening will tell us if the care that is being delivered is of the quality that is expected and the payments will then be adjusted accordingly. The NHI will only pay for care that is of the quality that is expected. So these are the three pillars of efficiency that our work is going to be on. And it, it means then that in, in, in transitioning from the MBS to the National Health Insurance, this dimension of efficiency is going to be critical. As I said just now, in, in, in mentioning the legislation of, of, of our standards and protocols, the presumption there is that the behavior of providers will then have to change. But the behavior of the population also will have to change.